Okay guys, today I wanted to talk to you guys about No Script. It's a Mozilla Firefox plugin. Uh, I'm running Parrot Linux at the moment. That actually comes with No Script, but no matter what distribution of Linux you use or Windows or um, Apple products, you can get No Script for Firefox with any operating system. So I wanted to go over it because I think it can be kind of an intimidating tool at first. Um, but I want to talk about some of the benefits and I want to demonstrate how it can be used in it to block dangerous objects on websites. So what NoScript does is it allows you to fully customize the uh, scripts that load on a given website you're visiting. And I've opened a couple websites for a demonstration. So right now we're on the page for NoScript. This up here is the icon for NoScript. Uh, it looks like on the NoScript website, of course, there is nothing blocked. I have it as trusted. Um, and anytime you are looking at a script or a domain, you can then click on it. And from there, it will open up security and privacy info based on various sources here. So you can check on each script's domain source to see if it's a safe source for scripts because as we all know uh, scripts are some of the most dangerous parts of browsing the internet they can do everything from give up your IP address to exploit your system so you have to really trust each uh, different extension script that happens to run on a given web page so I wanted to talk about this because at first it took a little bit of getting used to but I find it's a great tool it's something that will also in some cases speed up your browsing up to 40 percent because you're not loading some of these slow loading scripts so here's some of the symbols down here this S with the cross through it it means that a script or plugin is blocked for the current site and subdomains. I'm just going to show you guys a Yahoo page. Okay, this Yahoo page, I have it. Now, on each website, go up to the S once you're on it, and you can then see the settings. As you can see, it blocks by default zero or OATH.com uh, and also rawgit.com. But I could change that. Say I want to uh, temporarily allow uh, say a page doesn't load right because of no script. Okay, we'll, we'll pretend that's the case here. Now, if a page doesn't load, say the comments section is a common one, you may want to unblock the discuss.com script just so you can see and participate in the comment section. But I'm going to pretend here that a page won't load at all. And what I would do there if I trust the page is I would click on this clock with the exclamation point. And that, what that'll do is it'll temporarily set that page to trusted that means it will load all the scripts for a temporary moment of time so you can view the page in full so as I click on that it reloads the page with all scripts temporarily trusted or trusted depending once you hit that button it will then load the page and you won't have anything missing because a lot of times there are different features on websites that require scripts and using no script if you block everything you won't be able to see the website itself fully so that's a way you can temporarily load a page uh, in full uh, here I have the Washington Post open because I have a couple other scripts uh, I wanted to show you can you can even you know I have it already set and this is Amazon's cloud service now to find out information about that I'll click on it to see if I want to unblock it and then from there uh, I'll check on you know various links and as you can see this page didn't load and why is that that's because I actually had temporarily blocked the Google domain to untrusted but what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it to trusted and watch what happens then as you can see now the page loads so there are times you may need to set it to temporarily trusted or if you trust the domain completely you can then set it to always trusted. So that S is the always trusted symbol here. 
As I mentioned, uh, you can have it temporarily trusted script by script. You can individually temporarily set trust for each script. Then if, say, a page full of scripts and you have 30 of them to worry about, if you don't want to have to go through each one, you can then set, set the entire page and all scripts inside to temporarily trusted. And when you click on that, it will reload the page with all scripts loading. So I really wanted to go over that. And this is the New York Post. Another example, this one's a great example because they have so many scripts. Uh, say I want to, you know, uh, block everything, you know, or I want to revoke, see how I have the uh, trusted permissions. You can then, if you have temporary permissions, you can then lock them all after that by doing, as you can see here, when you hit this it revokes the temporary permissions. so if you needed to load a page temporarily and then you revoke the permissions it will then block all those scripts again and no script will get it will learn as you use it so the more you play with it the more you block unblock features you'll need to play around a little bit to get pages to load correctly but I think you will see and appreciate the usefulness of it and Right now I'm going to go into the settings, go into preferences to show you all the settings that are in no script at the moment. So now we have this little three dotted button here and we'll go to our preferences. And here we will be able to see all the different permissions settings for no script. So the preset default for all sites shared and you can block frames fetch and other you could also block scripts all objects for default loading of pages meaning that it will block things by default now for your trusted websites you can set how you want it to behave on those websites so you can have it on trusted websites see as it says allow and then each box you check it will allow those types of scripts and objects to load so when you're untrusted you may say well I need to set some untrusted settings I'm gonna block scripts I'm gonna block other uh, features on there so you'll be able to untrusted settings of course you don't want to allow things because that will then put you in an unsafe environment so let's check per site permissions so this shows all the domains of different scripts that load and it shows the current settings as you can see there are quite a few trusted here but I may not want to keep that I may want to block some of those things I may want to block you know cache fly or something else or I may want to temporarily allow it just so I can load a page at that moment uh, as you can see going down all these different domains there are a variety of different ones and you may need to temporarily unblock some of these websites to get them to load properly but no script will remember your settings so the ones that you do permanent blocks on will be permanently blocked when you reload Firefox so you won't have to worry about changing settings after you've done it once it will remember it unless you use the temporary permission setting so that is no script. I really thought it was a helpful tool for me and hopefully it will help you as well. So I hope you liked the video. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe and I'll be back later with more on how you can protect your privacy.